Chelsea and Westminster Hospital is quite unusual. You know, we have, I think, the highest concentration of millionaires of anywhere in the country. So the first point to make is that all of the work I'm doing is privately funded. We don't use any NHS money. Uh, when I was approached about the job in, in Chelsea, the last kind of place really I wanted to work, what was Chelsea, you know, in terms of, for, for me, social engagement and the importance of work in terms of new audiences is, is a real kind of passion for me. Uh, the thing that interested me in coming to Chelsea was that we can be doing projects here that we couldn't do in other NHS hospitals in the country. If we can prove that they have a benefit in terms of uh, clinical outcome or indeed of saving money, then we can export that to other hospitals around the country. So that is a kind of a key strand of the work that I'm leading. Uh, these pictures here just show the space. So it was d designed in the late 80s, opened in 1993, d d d designed by Shepard Robson. It is a pretty kind of good building still. Um, it's got good air quality. It's, it's very light, uh, very open, uh, and it's kind of full of art. So uh, it's got about 2,000 artworks on display. A lot of, the, a lot of those are site-specific. Um, so we've got, at the bottom there, we've got Hollywood by Bert Irvin, and then a Joy Gerard piece with, with the balls on the side of the children's hospital. So it's a quite ambitious, and it's kind of understood within the hospital. Uh, the other thing we've been doing for many years is looking at the impact of the arts and, and good design. I mean, really, art is a small part of my job, but most of my work is around you know, things that we talked about earlier in terms of you know, the heights of ceilings, the quality of light, uh, the temperature of, of rooms. So we've done some really kind of um, clinical studies in terms of the impact of our work, which you can see here. Uh, what we're doing now is translating that into cost because you know, it's pretty unusual to have an arts programme within a, an NHS hospital. Um, going forward, you know, if other hospitals are going to develop that, then you need to have some really tangible benefits in terms of, well, this is actually saving money. You know, my, my chief exec understands totally what, what we're doing, but if I can say to her, hey, actually, do you know what? If we do this project in a paediatric burns unit, 60% of the kids aren't going to need morphine. You know, that then has a, a kind of direct translation in terms of the throughput of patients, but also it's, it's going to save money in terms of they won't be having morphine, they won't need to stay in overnight because morphine is a pretty horrible drug.